I love hubs. I'm gonna try and keep this one short and sweet. Phones, tablets, laptops, especially thin and portable gear might not have all of the ports that you need. I mean, even when we're getting to play with some of these small and fancy small form factor PCs, having a little extra IO, always kind of nice. Now, the folks at EasyQuest sent over their triple external display hub for me to test drive and share some thoughts. And there's an obvious computer. <laughs> that's designed for this form factor. I do not have that computer, but I do have a bunch of others that can use some extra expansion. Now, I just wanna point this out real quick for the folks at EasyQuest. This is kinda not great SEO. I'm not exactly sure what to call the product. The full name is the Ultimate Plus Dual HDMI USB-C Multimedia Hub Adapter 12 Ports with Power Delivery 3. I just feel somewhere in this list of features, there's probably a better product name for a really nice desktop hub. The front is full of USB 3 ports, a headphone jack, micro SD, and full-sized SD card readers with a little USB-C. That's your host port. That's where you plug in your phone, tablet, or laptop. There there's nothing on the sides, but it is a nice aluminum build that sort of scoops into the plastic shield for this I.O. And then on the back, we've got dual HDMI, VGA, the power port. This is just for power delivery and an Ethernet. I think this layout is mostly spot on. Mostly. I'd need quick access to these ports and these card readers. I don't think I'd need access to these ports nearly as often. I think it all makes sense, but the only gripe I have, if this is designed for something like a Mac Mini, I think it would have made more sense to put the host port on the back next to the power delivery port. I think it's the one cable that looks a little messy with a mini desktop when it's routed to the front. I, I think it makes a little more sense for a laptop, but honestly, it would still probably look better just running the cable from behind being able to plug in that way. We get full USB 3 support. I was plugging in SSDs. We have gigabit ethernet, which is always handy because a lot of super slim laptops now don't have an ethernet jack and it can route to 4K signals. I do not have the space in my office to properly set up a triple monitor display with a laptop. My crummy little Ikea desk was maxed out, but we did get three screens going at the same time powered off of my Surface Laptop Go 2, a student edition notebook connected to this hub. And this USB-C input supplies up to 100 watt USB power delivery. Everything here is on point for reasonably high tier consumer electronics home equipment. Sadly, I could not test all three monitors at the same time because I, I don't have anything VGA anymore. I have a bunch of screens and monitors and displays in my office, but none of them use this port. I, I feel this is still a decent legacy connector. Your families might be working with an old tower, still have a decent monitor, and looking to upgrade to a new home PC, it can be a shock going from a full-sized PC to a mini PC or a slim laptop and losing this I.O. Now, obviously, I would not recommend the EasyQuest as any kind of a travel solution. It's really not heavy and it works great with phones and tablets, but it's just large. There are tons of decent portable hubs that are more of a strip and they're, they're less of a base station. If you need something on an airplane or in a cramped hotel room, this probably isn't it. And actually EasyQuest does sell a smaller strip hub for travel. The headphone jack is respectable. It's better than I was expecting it to be, but it is hub audio. So it's kind of a coin flip if the built-in audio will be better on your laptop. On my new Surface, this is noticeably thinner and a little hissier than the Surface laptop jack. But this is actually a little better sounding than on my Pixel Book, so your mileage will vary. All right, here's the deal. This is nicely built. It handles a ton of data and video, and I think the price is reasonable considering the solution. This is not cheap. And this is the conversation we always have with hubs and docks. A simple travel hub can be found for a lot less, but if that's what you're relying on for home use, it's just going to add to desk and cable clutter. I've gotten some pushback on some of my other accessory videos, but I do think it's worth it to pay a little more to not only expand IO, but also clean up your workspace. You use your laptop out on the go when you're out and about, then you come home and you plug it into a much nicer workspace with a pair of monitors. There's a reason why we pay a little more for that kind of layout, but not 
too much more, of course, where this solution comes in well featured and often below the price of first party options. Like, I like the look of this and it has much more functionality than a Surface dock, as my example just showing up with a Surface laptop. I dig this. It's going to fit right in here in the gadget lab, even on my tiny little IKEA desk where I don't have room for a crazy number of monitors. And you'll probably see it pop up in a few other reviews that I've got coming up for the channel. The Easy Quest Ultimate Plus Dual HDMI USB C Multimedia Hub Adapter 12 Ports with Power Delivery 3.0. I will, of course, drop a link down for for more information on this EasyQuest hub, you have to hit the link because the full name of the product isn't great if you're just trying to search for it. Search for EasyQuest. Do a search for EasyQuest. You'll find some great gear. I, I'm, I've been very happy with this hub. Now, as always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to the channel. All the support lately has been fantastic. Of course, the list of names scrolling by on your screen is the list of the coolest tech pals from my Patreon, patreon.com slash some gadget guy. I, I really hope you'll give this community a, a shot because these are some of the funnest tech pals out there. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch, not so much on the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next review.